Salt can cause issues for some people. Hey, what's shaking bacon? I hope you're doing well. So this is going to be slightly controversial. It's not the goal of this. Salt, certain salts, don't agree with everybody. So this is a weird way I came around to this understanding, but my dad has trouble with certain types of salt. Now it's not like certain brands of salt or certain salts from you know the mountains or certain salts from flatlands or certain salts from oceans. It's not that kind of an issue. It's an issue he told me about about a year and a half or two years ago. I'd say about two years ago. He said he can't have fermented foods and cured meats without it bothering his psoriasis. And I said to him, I said, that's probably more some of the carbohydrates in there and the sugars in there. He goes, no, no, I've tested it and I've tried it for a long while. And he said, I found that it's any salt that is in fermented foods or cured meats. So I was like, that sounds pretty far fetched. So before I get into that in more detail, I want to point something out before we get into any more detail. I'm going to end up posting a few photos of my dad. And the thing about these photos is I rescued a cat a few years ago. My dad doesn't like animals in the house. And he's one of those guys who, when I grew up, always said, ah, you know, animals, they stay outside. Who cares if an animal gets sick and it dies? Rah. He's one of those gruff old European guys with animals. Well, I rescued this cat, brought it to their house. And sure enough, they are best of friends. So when you see lots of photos of my dad with this cat around him, they're photos my sister's been taking of him for the last little while. So it's pretty funny when you see one of these gruff old guys just get really warm and melt around these little kittens. But anyway, back to the point. So I thought that's pretty weird, but you know what? My dad seems to have a good understanding of what foods bother him and what foods don't. And he's sort of come across this through the years. He's had psoriasis probably pretty much for at least 25 or 30 years. I remember a while ago it was getting pretty bad and it started spreading all over his body. He went to a almost a zero carbohydrate diet and it virtually went away within weeks. His dermatologist refused to accept the fact that diet had anything to do with his psoriasis because uh, the doctor said, well, clearly you've been using that new cream I gave you. And he said, no, it wasn't the cream. I haven't touched the cream. I haven't opened the cream. I just changed my diet. So they bunted heads on that. My dad knew what it was. He didn't know exactly how it was better, but it was carbohydrates because he knocked out most of the carbohydrates in his diet. He went down to just vegetables and a little bit of fruit and no grains of any kind. He had no carbohydrates other than once a week and it was a very small amount. It was like a serving of rice, maybe two servings of rice throughout the whole day. So through the years, his psoriasis started getting worse and worse. He noticed wine made it worse. He started to notice certain foods aggravated it more than others. He really started paying attention to this. This is what lots of carnivores have already gotten to decades before. My dad's in his 80s. My dad's approaching his mid 80s. He turns 83 in just a few weeks. Either way, I thought there might be something to that. Who am I to say? So I went to the Zeroing In On Health Facebook group. And in that Facebook group, I did a search if salt, or I forget what I mentioned, cured salt, can have an effect on people's skin disorders. And sure enough, there were people there that posted that they noticed the same things and they had to cut out any cured meats. And so that still didn't rule out the fact that it was uh, salt from the cured meats. If I recall, and I forget what I called up, but there were a few people in that Facebook group that had the same problem. Here's the thing, my dad can have salt in any dish, he uses quite a bit of salt, never bothers him. It's only after he has foods that are fermented with salt. I always kind of kept that in the back of my mind. I didn't know if there was anything to that, but here's something I've always noticed with me. When I have McDonald's patties and I have them maybe for two or three days in a row, one time doesn't really do too much, but if I have them for a couple days in a row, maybe I've gotten really busy or something, my nose gets kind of flaky just on the outer rim right here. And my forehead gets flaky too, and it gets dry. The skin starts to just flake off a little bit. And if it flakes off a little too early, it creates little scabs. And maybe for the next two weeks, I'll have like a little redness on my nose right around here to the point where someone I was seeing a while ago could tell from my videos, they're like, oh, you had McDonald's the other day because they could see this little crust of redness on my nose. I finally noticed after a while, I thought, wait a minute, McDonald's swears they don't put anything else in their burgers, but they do have seasoning on their burgers. So maybe it's something in the seasoning. Maybe it's MSG. I don't know what salt they use, but either way, that always triggers it. If I have restaurant food, that triggers it for me. So this is where the story gets a little more interesting. I was at a carnivore meetup in Scranton, Pennsylvania last, I think it was September, and I met a bunch of great people there. And a couple people I met, it was uh, this couple, and they were really great. They were probably around approaching retirement age, 
And I was talking with the wife and for the life of me, I forget her name. Uh, she reached out to me after this meeting because she was telling me she had some problems with, I believe it was psoriasis. And I said, you know what my dad noticed? And I told her the story and the whole time <laughs> she was really sweet, but she gave me a look like, you know, like she, like it sounds pretty far fetched. And I looked at her and I said, I know what you're thinking. I thought the same thing, but it turned out if you go to this Facebook group, there's actually other people who noticed this as well. So. I don't know, like a month or two went by and out of the blue, she reached out to me on, I believe it was Instagram. I can't find the message for the life of me right now, but I know I didn't delete it. And she said, hey, you know what? I tried it with the salt, with the cured salt, and it turns out my psoriasis is cleared up. And she couldn't believe the results. She was like, I didn't believe it at first. And I was like, I know it's pretty amazing, isn't it? But it was really neat because I've noticed the same thing with restaurant food, with the types of salt they use. Like I said, it could be MSG or any sort of curing process when it comes to meat. If I have any cold cuts, even if it's homemade cold cuts, that bothers my, I, I don't know if it's psoriasis or what condition it is. It's very faint. I had like a rash on top of my forehead years ago and nothing got rid of it until I got antibiotics for it. And it looked like acne, really bad acne. And it was there for about oh, three or four years. And I noticed diet played a part in that as well. The only thing that ever brings this sort of back a little bit is if I have this salt. And just like my father, I have salt all the time with my food. Doesn't make a difference. In fact, if I go three, four weeks without any restaurant food of any kind, it doesn't even take that long. You notice a difference with my complexion on my forehead and also on the ridge of my nose. And I always wondered why I had that problem. At least I don't know what it is yet. I should go to a dermatologist to get it checked. It's honestly not something that concerns me too much because it keeps in check with my diet. So I found diet helps it, but the salt specifically aged salt or cured salt seems to have an effect on it. So I know it's sort of an out there thing and I don't have any studies or anything I can cite that can prove this, but do some research yourself. See if you find anything, go to zeroing in on health and see if you can find any people that have had the same issue. This might be able to help you people out there that have any psoriasis or any types of disorders. And you're still wondering why carnivore hasn't gotten you the rest of the way. Keep in mind, Carnivore, the Zeroing In On Health original Facebook group, which is where lots of these OG carnivores originally started when it was a website, they didn't have salt in their diet. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments out there citing the importance of salt in your diet. That's not what I'm complaining about. What I'm pointing out is the fact that some of these salts, maybe MSG or, or salts that have been cured, have a different effect on the body than just fresh salt that you get from your salt shaker, no matter what type of salt you use. I hope you enjoyed that slideshow of all the photos I had of my dad with the cat. It's funny how those two have bonded. They're like best of friends. That cat is on my dad's shoulders all the time. I know this video won't give any definitive proof on what I'm talking about, but it might steer some people out there into a proper direction when it comes to dealing with the last of their skin disorders. Anyway, thanks a lot and take care. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it.